Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2. In the last video, we continued exploring the labyrinth, we had a confrontation with Pyramid Head, and we followed our lead that Maria is still alive, and that was pretty much it. And, and we went through a ridiculously easy labyrinth. In this video, we're going to fight the Doorman boss, or the Abstract Daddy as some people know him as. We're going to do a very convoluted puzzle, and then things aren't going to go so smoothly. Things are going to be very suspicious. So with that, let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to examine the photo and letter of Mary. Hey, Mary. I don't need to read this. You can read it yourselves. Newspapers are scattered all over the walls and floor. There seems to be nothing of interest. But this one has today's date. That's strange. No, Daddy. Please, don't. We heard a noise from in this door. It's Angela. And she's being attacked. This is the doorman boss, or more commonly known, the abstract daddy. And yeah, you're going to need the shotgun for this. Uh, nothing more. So, get a few shots in on him, and then run to the other side of the room. If he climbs on you, just click random buttons to uh, get him off you. Wait, did I just change weapons? Huh, that's funny. Are you okay? <laughs> That'd be a no. Wow, Angela, you're vicious. Stop being vicious. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me! Yeah, James, don't touch her. <laughs> You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. So, plot just happened all over the place. Uh, yeah. Angela has been beat up and tormented by her father. Uh, she called us liars 
for some odd reason. She's very vicious. And if she said she was beat up like but if she said she was beat up by her father, then that means that on the letter that said Thomas Oro or Thomas Orozco, that would be the doorman that we just killed. Anyway, so going through this door, we're going to come up to our convoluted puzzle. Uh, I don't know what the official name is, but I like to call this the criminal puzzle. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of bodily injury. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Justice and revenge have been served. These are all criminals, but one of them were wrongly accused and were and are innocent, I should say. But how do we know which one? Well, we're going to have to leave the room to know that. In this room, there's nothing but nooses here. But more than that, here's the puzzle. He committed an evil crime. He turned a happy home into a pile of ash. For that, he should die. They also committed crimes. They tried to fraud and trick others. So their reward, too, is natural. Even he cannot be forgiven. My friend without his left hand. And so his death bothers me not. And what of him? He has... He also is not sinless. There is only one here who is innocent. The missing child was nowhere to be found, and so there was no proof of his guilt. His death was a tragedy. That is all I wish to say. It was neither justice nor retribution. Basically what this puzzle is saying is because the child went missing, the kidnapper is innocent. So we pull on the kidnapper's noose. For anyone who is wondering if you pull on the wrong noose, uh, you have to pull, you won't get the reward, and you have to fight a few lying figures in the hallway between the first and second rooms. The hallway that James is in right now. Anyway, going back to the first room, you notice the body is gone, and we get the key of the persecuted. We need that to go forward. You can't turn the handle unless you remove the handcuffs. Well, thank goodness we found that key, hey? Key left by prisoner who was wrongly executed. Well, before you get executed, you go to jail. And for jail, you need handcuffs. So the key of the persecuted works for the handcuffs. And we are unlocked. And this is taking a while. Okay. And now our way is opened. And we can move forward. It's one straight path. The path right is locked, so we have to go forward. Now for the suspicious part. Now for things to be saddening.
and Maria is dead again. Suspicious or not, it's still a tragedy for James. Mary. It's still a tragedy for James because Maria still looks a lot like Mary. So it's just like losing Mary all over again. Nevertheless, we have to move forward. This path is unlocked now. And we go up this ladder. Got a first aid kit. And now we're in a, a graveyard or a cemetery or whatever you like to call it. There is various shotgun shells every na everywhere around. shotgun shells the name on the tombstone is too scratched up this felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest no that's not Thomas Orozco too scratched up There's a name inscribed on the tombstone, Miriam K, traitor. Really? Do scratched up. Name inscribed on the tombstone, Walter Sullivan. That just goes to show Silent Hill 4 came before Silent Hill 2, apparently. Name inscribed, Eddie Drum Dombrowski. Whoops, my sorry for mispronunciation. Angela Orozco. Strange. Not, not as strange as this. James Sunderland. And our grave is open. So that's a hole. But it's a hole we'll be going in in the next video. So we're saving in the catacombs. So yeah, a lot of things just happened. We fought the doorman boss. We finished off the main part of the labyrinth. Uh, we found out Maria's dead again. And it is a real tragedy for James, but nevertheless, he has to move forward and face the truth behind the death of Mary. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and in the next video, we'll finish off the labyrinth once and for all. So, until then, this is Gabriel John Coombs signing off, saying adios, amigos.